Today we're turning fabric rectangles into flowers, like a magician I guess. The worst part about flowers is how little they last and how hard they are to keep. Both problems these beauties do not have. And you can even mix in your favorite scent and make them smell great. And the best part is you can easily do this by hand, no sewing machine required. These rectangles are 5.12 by 4 inches or 13 by 10 centimeters and the first step is to fold the fabric rectangle in two and sew a line along the edge. Next, get a needle and some thread and close the bottom of this rectangle like so. Once closed, it means we can now fill this little bag with some soft filling, about two thirds will do. Once that's done, fold the top of the fabric in and sew the middle together. Find the middle of the fabric in the opposite direction and sew again. That way you will be left with a sort of an X shape. Here's our tulip top and we'll need six more of these for our pot, which we will be making next. You know, you can make it using paper or cardboard if you like, and this is actually a bit of a crossover from the Sandy on Crafts channel, you know, it's the first time I'm making paper crafts for you guys, but you did say you wanted to see other kinds of crafts, so here we go. square in all different directions, we need to fold it again in a diamond shape. With an opening at the top like so. And now we fold the top into a triangle. Now we unfold it and fold that small triangle into several folds like this. on the other side and then again okay the next two corners in Forgot about that side, here we go. <laughs> now we fold the smaller corners in two. Next, we fold the top again, but this 
time we make sure to tuck the fold into the new fold like so. Our pop is starting to take shape. Turn it around and repeat the steps we just did. so it will form a perfect square. And that's it, our pot is ready to be used. All it needs now is some tulips. Now we're adding a little bit more filling to the bottom of the pot and we use some hot glue to attach our tulips to it like so. some glue to the vein and fold them in half. It's done! <laughs> so cute and colorful, I love it! <laughs> it's a great project you can do with kids or by yourself and it's actually a great Valentine's gift too. I hope you enjoyed our video and I will see you soon, bye bye!